painting style has changed. So this mm. starts, the book starts in 1985, I mean, the, the compilation starts around 85, 86 with Stay Up Late, which was the first children's book that I did and the first, you know, so I didn't go to magazine work before then. But uh, so my, because my style has changed and my, and I've become more painterly and maybe somewhat better at, at painting, uh, I'm depicting them in a different way. So I'm depicting the relationships in a more real way mm -hmm. as opposed to the cartoon, more car cartoony way that I did when I began. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm gonna jump around a little bit because so, we jumped into the art, you know, talking about art. When you, um, and I stole this question by the way, it's such a, it's such a good one. I, I read it somewhere else, I decided to steal it for tonight. Um, I'm when you steal an answer. Okay, good. <laughs> um, when you sit down to do a portrait of a dog, or uh, how is that different from your approach to painting a portrait of a, of a person, of a, of a, you know, a, of a human? Well, a dog is never gonna give me an opinion. Mm. <laughs> So it's so much more fun to do a portrait. But I, I hate, kind of hate doing portraits of people. No, I don't. I, I don't like commissions for people because then that's a that's a sticky wicket. But I do like the idea that a dog just is not going to have an opinion, and that's and that's the beauty of the relationship with the dog. You know, we, we you know we, we we talk a lot about being judgmental in this world and how judgmental we are about everything. And then when you have a relationship with a dog. The dog does not say one word ever. Right. Yeah. You know, literally. Right. 